Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you have seen over here, we have uh, completed this modeling of this particular coffee shop. Let's start texturing it. So very first of all, let's go into rendering, the render setup and set it as a V-Ray over here close to side it let's go into material and take a V-Ray map or V-Ray material sorry so let's go over here and take a V-Ray MTL that's a VRA material bitmap after that what we can do over here is like we can take a wood texture so definitely we have wood texture over here for that we need to go into the interior texture and we can take a wood texture so just assign this wood texture over here and let's give a <coughs> UVW map over here and increase its height over here same now just select this and let's uh, select this and let's assign the same texture over here so just select this and assign the same texture and let's give a UVW map in it and also let's select first of all let's convert to editable poly let's go into the polygon over here select this all and let's go into material media material <coughs> and let's give a black color to it so if you want to assign a black color between all of this that can be done but you need to just go on selecting all of this So press control and just go on selecting that all. Alright, so once the selection is done, let's uh, give this black texture color. So it looks good over here. Alright, now same texture, uh, we are going to assign this over here also. UVW map and let's give a box so let's give one name to the cafe so I'll just take a text over here okay so give any name to it like 
Chaos Cafe, that sounds good. Chaos Cafe or, or whatever, a coffee shop or something. So let's go into this and give a extrude modifier over here. And let's go into the text and reduce the size of the text. Just place it over here. So we'll just increase its size. I don't want that. It should be in this way. I want it in this manner. Uh, which should you know highlight the stuff so let's just give one material we'll give a PDA material over here and we can go into this and we have a self illumination option over here we can just use a self illumination over here and let's just assign a color to it. that's it so save your file. So for this now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to assign a metal texture. So for that, let's take a <coughs> V-ray material. Let's give a black color over here, and let's increase its reflectivity. Not much, but a bit. And into this, we can go into the Fresnel reflections reduce this Fresnel reflections so so you can just assign this stuff over here so I want this to be assigned on all top so I'll just subtract it from here. Subtract this, subtract this and this. And let's go into this and just assign this section. So if you go into this and if you want to give it a more of a metallic look, you can give that. So it's assigned. So same way, we need to assign this, 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 all with the same texture over here. So let's assign this same texture. All right. <coughs> Looks better. So just select this cylinder so just press control and select it Now, so just again go over here, select this, So assign the texture in this way. So same texture will be assigned on this also.
all this tense will get the same texture <coughs> material and just assign it all right so the same uh you can push this i don't think uh, you need this text down if you want it then you need to uh, scale it very very small and put it at the right place all right the save your file so let's again take a rere material and for this we'll have a banner for this so we can just assign it and you can just give a UV W map. Perfect. And convert to poly. That's it. So once you have assigned this, you can just render it and just check this out. So just convert to editable poly and save your file. So we we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.